watch it later. All right. Mm -hmm. So last lesson, we're talking about in and out. Okay. So we're talking about the literal mean. So in basically means enter, out means exit. So we, we mm -hmm. have expression like get out, go into, uh, walk out of a room, uh, dive in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know. I'm talking about all of this. Yeah. Plugin, right in. Yeah. Okay. Today we're going to take a look at more meanings of out. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you use out uh, besides talking about movement, like exiting a place. Yeah. You can also use out to talk about lightning or burning or shining. So basically it means there are no more light. Or for example, you can put out a fire. Yeah, you put out a fire or you put out a cigarette. So that means no more fire, no more cigarette, yeah, no more light. You can turn out a light, for example, like this. You can turn it off, on, yeah? Yeah. You can blow out a candle, yeah? There's somebody else coming in. That's David, I think. Yeah. Ciao, Arasso. How are you? Yeah, are you good? Hello, David. Hello. Hello, how are you doing? Good. Bye, okay. Yeah. So we're taking a look at uh, more meanings of out. Okay. Okay. So we're talking now about burning or shining. Oh, so basically we use out to talk about fire or light. When we mean there are no more fire or there are no more light. For example, blow out a candle. So you can blow out a candle at the birthday party. Yeah, yeah you blow out. Yeah. Is that understood? Yeah. Yes. I think it's pretty, quite easy, this one. Uh, okay, um, Davide and the other guy, Nelson, right? Yes. Okay, Nelson, can you read this one here? Uh, suddenly, all the lights in the building went out. Exactly. Disappear. No more light. Mm -hmm. Okay, Davide, can you read this one? I put the fire out with a fire extinguisher. Exactly. Let me show you fire extinguisher. So a fire extinguisher is this thing, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, and also, next one for you. I turned the lights out before leaving. Perfect. And David, this one? We don't need the candle. You can blow it out. Exactly. So as you can see, blow means, but out means no more light. So it means you extinguish a fire by blowing. Yeah? Easy, yeah? Right. Uh, okay, many times uh, we use out with the idea of no more or finish. For example, run out. So if you run out of something, it means you consume everything. You have no more. For example, and also, can you read this one? We ran out of pet petrol, <laughs> I don't know, yeah, yeah. on the motor. Exactly. So you can run out of petrol, you can run out of money, you can run out of paper. But can... uh, mm -hmm. doesn't run out mean so, so escape? Okay, that would be run away. Ah, run away. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Or run out of a room, possibly. But here it's used in a metaphorical way, not in a literal way. Okay. So out in this expression means like uh, consume. Yeah. Like you finish something completely. So you run out of something. Yeah. You run out of money. You run out of patience. You run out of time. Yeah. Right. Um, let's see. 
some of the time out has the idea of discovery like in find out so you can find out or find out about something yeah uh, let me zoom in a little bit there you are no so can you read this one here the police never found out who commit the crime committed committed the crime committed. Oh, thank you thank you mm -hmm. okay david for you i just found out that it's silence birthday today okay easy yeah this is very easy let's see uh this one for later okay okay out also means uh distribute for example if you hand out it means like for example you are in the street and you hand out a piece of paper or I don't know. Yeah. So you give out or you hand out. It means like distribute, yeah, or to, to give to each other. For example, in this sentence, I have some for you. At the end of the lecture, the speaker gave out information sheets to the audience. Audience. Mm -hmm. So distribute, yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. To give out or hand out is the same. So usually we say hand out when it's one person to many people. Yeah, so you get, for example, people on the street, yeah? Let me show you. Give out, um, I don't know, pamphlet, for example. Pamphlet. Yeah, so you're on the street, you are giving out pamphlets. So, yeah. All right, easy, yeah? Right, let's try another one. Sort something out. So as I mentioned before, we use out with the idea of solution. So sort something out means to find a solution or to put in order. Uh, that would be there for you. There are a few problems we need to sort out. Exactly. To resolve, yeah? Uh, Nelson, for you? Nelson, are you there? Hello. You? Me? Yeah, can, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. The second. Yes, yes. The second all one. these papers are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. All these papers are mixed up. I have to sort them out. Exactly. So you can see, sort out has two different meaning: find solution or to put order. Mm -hmm. Yeah. To arrange in the right order. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It depends on what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. Right, this one also very easy. Try out, it just means to to test. Yeah, uh, that'd be there for you. The company is trying out some new software at the moment. So, for example, many companies are trying out the coronavirus like vaccine. Yeah, for example. Right, um, under the easy one. Okay, point out. This is very easy. So, you know, pointing is to do like this with your finger. Point out is similar. Point out is like mm, you draw attention to something and you want someone to notice something in particular. So you point something out. Yeah. Like, I don't know. Look, this is uh, orange. Yeah. So I pointed this out. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Nelson, can you read this? Sorry. This one. Can you read this one? As we drove through the city, the tour guide points out all the sites. Exactly, pointed out all the sites. Easy, yeah? So far, so good? Any question? No? Yeah. Oh, no. All right. Now, carry out. Carry out means to develop or to proceed with some kind of a plan, yeah? For example, you can carry out an order, you can carry out a service, or you can carry out a plan, yeah? It's similar to do, so you do like a plan, yeah? So you carry out a plan, or you carry out an order, yeah? Uh, that'll be it for you. Soldiers are expected to carry out orders. There you are. Uh, Nelson? An investigation into the accident will be carried out. There you are. Uh, let me see. Oh yes, turn out. Very important. 
Okay, this is a very, very common expression in English. Uh, turnout. How to explain this one? Turnout basically means in the end. So, for example, um, so for example, you think something about someone or, so, or any situation, and then in the end, it's something different. Yeah. So basically, means in the end. Yeah. In the end, something different happened, or your expectation were changed. Yeah. For example, let me read this one. Uh, can you repeat, please, this explanation? Sure. Yes. Um, let me. Take out the pen. So, turn out it's similar to in the end. For example, so for example, you think someone is British, yeah? So, you look at the person, this person looks British, yeah? But in reality, actually, this person is German. So, you could say, I thought he was British, but he turned out to be German. Yeah, in the end, so in the end, uh, in reality, like, yeah, it's, it's like in the end, like something okay. different happened in the end. Yeah, let me give you a few explanations. I think with some sentences, you will understand better. Perfect. Okay, I'm gonna read the first one, and you read all it. So, nobody believed Paul at first, but he turned out to be right. So, this turned out to be right means. In the end, he was right. Yeah? Do you understand? Yes. All right. Uh, Davide, this one for you. The weather wasn't so good in the morning, but it turned out nice later. Exactly. So in the morning, there were a lot of clouds there, black, black clouds, but then later it cleared up, so it turned out nice later. Yeah? Okay, Nelson, last one for you. I thought the, they knew each other, but it turned out that they never met. Exactly. So this is your expectation, yeah? But the reality mm -hmm. is this, yeah? So in the end, they didn't know each other. They never met, yeah? Is that clear now? Yes. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. If you have any question, just ask me. Don't be afraid. Um, all right. <laughs> well, this one. Okay. This is a difficult one because it has a lot of different meanings. Um, <laughs> let's start. Okay. Let's start with the basic workout. Uh, no. Sorry. So, usually, when we talk about workout, we mean this. Okay. Doing exercises. Okay? This is the basic meaning of working out. Yeah. So I go to the gym to work out. Easy, yeah? Now, the problem is workout is used in many other ways. So also workout means develop or progress. Uh, so for example, for example, when you talk about relationship, yeah, relationship. So for example, Imagine you are with somebody else, a woman, or, okay? But then mm, you don't have a good relationship. You don't get on well with each other, yeah? So you could say things didn't work out well. Yeah? Or things didn't work out. So it didn't work out. You understand? It means like the relationship with me and this other person it's not good. Yeah? And it ended. Sadly. It doesn't work. It didn't work out. Yeah? Like, for example, um, here. Why did James leave the company? Things didn't work out. So it means it was not good. Yeah? In the end, nothing happened. Now, um, you can also use workout when you talk about numbers or price. Um, so, for example, so workout means like the total or the, the sum of everything. Mm -hmm. For example, the total bill for three people is £97.35. 
that works out at 32 pounds 45 each. So basically means calculate, yeah? When you talk about number, yeah? Or for example, uh, 345 times 76, I need the calculator. I can't work it out in my head. I cannot calculate. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Right. Um, now, many of the times we use workout with the same idea as figure out. So basically, figure out or workout means understand a problem or understand the situation or even understand the person. So, for example, I can't work out why some people think that they're going to learn a language by using Duolingo. <laughs> I can't work out, really. Or this one. Investigator trying to work out what caused the accident. Yeah? So, basically means to understand uh, a problem or find a solution to a problem. Yeah, something like that. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Can you work yeah. it out? Yes? Okay. So work out, figure out, mean, more or less means understand. But not like you understand what I'm saying, but understand the situation. Right? Okay. Yeah? Any question? No question? Okay. We're going to get started. Let's see if you remember. Okay. So here I have... Turn out, blow out, carry out, put out, try out, or sort out. And you have to give me the collocation. So if you remember, collocation is a word that naturally go together with expression. For example, turn out a light. Yeah. Um, okay, Nelson, number two. What can you blow out in this a square? Candle. A candle. So mm -hmm. you blow out a candle. Uh, Davide, number three. What can you carry out? An order. An order, exactly. Four, Nelson, put out. Put out a uh, fire. Exactly, you can put out a fire. Uh, cinque, Davide, try out. Um, try out uh, uh, a problem. Not really. No. A, a new, new product, product. So yes, exactly. testing product. Exactly. Try out is like to, to test. For example, people are trying out the new vaccine. Yeah, that's a good example. Uh, finally, sort out, Nelson. Sort out uh, an order. A problem. A problem. Do you, do you understand oh, yeah, this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I remember that. You say that sort out means uh, solve a problem, like right? exactly to find a solution mm -hmm. to a problem. Mm -hmm. So if you so, remember, sort out has two different meanings. So you can sort out a problem, mm -hmm. or you can sort your room out. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. another meaning. Okay. All right. Let's try. Who is that guy? <laughs> I can hear someone shouting. Anyway. Uh, let's see. So you have to use uh, the verbs here. Uh, so, okay, don't worry. This one's a little bit difficult, but I'll help you out. Um, so let me read the first one. The company is trying out a new computer system at the moment. Um, Davide, number two. Steve so, is mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He does a lot of sport and uh, work out regularly. Work the no Works. work out. Works out, yes, he works mm -hmm. out Regular, regularly, exactly. So, Steve is very fit, he does a lot of sport and works out regularly. No, so number three, no, so are you there? Yeah, I, I was mm -hmm. thinking that uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> it, is, it is too hard for me, I don't know. <laughs> give, it, give it a go, try. Don't the, worry. Road, the road will be closed for two days while building work is um, sold, sort out. I don't know. Carry, carry out. Carry it out. Or you could also say it's being carried out. If you mean like right now, yeah? 
This is the passive. Yeah, you understand passive? Yeah. No? Yeah, because the, the bill, so the work is being carried out. So you carry out a, a work or building work. Yeah. So basically, it's like doing, you know, making uh, for David. Uh, sorry, let me zoom out a little bit so you can see now. We didn't manage to discuss everything at the mm -hmm. meeting. No. Sorry. I, it's okay four, now. Four, four. We, um, we yeah, didn't four. manage to discuss everything at the meeting. We, mm, well, uh, mm -hmm. ran out of time. Perfect. Ran out, ran out. Ran out of time. No more time. Yeah. Good job. Uh, five. Also, think of. You have to sort out the problem yourself. Mm -hmm. I can do it. I can't do it for you. Perfect. Very good expression, by the way. Uh, six. David. I need to um, work out what happened exactly. It's not clear at the moment. I wouldn't say work out. I would say find out. This find problem. out. Mm. Uh, okay, but, yeah, but work out is like to as uh, a figure it out. Okay, work out would be to understand. Yeah, it could also be possible, but it means something different. It means like to understand the problem. Yes, find so out is like mm, find out is more like discover. Yeah, so you don't know, so you have to discover. Work out is like you have to. To find a solution to a problem, something like that, yeah. Okay, uh, seven. And then some for you. Yeah, the, the new drug will, will be tried out mm -hmm. on a small group of patients. Perfect. Uh, Otto. Uh, David. I thought that the two books were at the, uh, were the same until someone Find out? No. Found out. No. What am I, what am I doing? <laughs> Look okay. at me. Yeah, but there's a word for this in English? Uh, for this? Yes. Uh, I, um, I don't have in my mind. <laughs> Sorry. No? No. Not yet? Point it out. Uh, point it out. Okay, so point out means like, look, this is different, yeah? That's what I said, what it means. So yes, it's to draw attention, yeah? Uh, nine, also. They got married a, a few years ago, but it didn't uh, mm -hmm. work, work it out. It and didn't work separate. out, exactly. They didn't work out. By the way, there is another phrase of verb for this, very common in English. Does anybody know? It? No? Uh -huh. No. Broke up. Ah, yes. <laughs> ah, but, but they broke up yeah. it be, without uh, all the but it didn't broke. Uh, yes. They broke up or they split up. Yeah, it's more or less the same. Yeah, uh, yeah they got separated. Um, ten, Davide. There was a power cut and uh, all the light. Uh, uh, went out. Mm -hmm. Exactly, went out, disappear. Yeah, eleven. Also, we thought she was American at first, but she. In the end, mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I don't remember the synonym, <laughs> the synonym of that word. Yeah. Turn, turn out to there be Swedish. She uh, turned out to be Swedish. So in the end, she was Swedish. Yeah, it is, means exactly the same. Yeah. Um, twelve. David. Sometimes uh, it. Uh, so we talk about money here, yeah? 
Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. There is one that I don't need to mm, find out cheaper. No. Mm -hmm. No. It, Not yet. It works out. It works, yeah. out, it works out cheaper. It, yeah. But uh, why not uh, find out? Because if you discover, you discover that it's okay. cheaper to eat. Um, uh, yeah. Okay, here what you mean is like the price is cheaper. Yeah? Yes. So we say it works out cheaper. Yeah? So when you talk about money, you can say work out. Like uh, the total, yeah, of the quantity, yeah. So, for example, you could say, how much uh, does it work out? So here, when you talk about a uh, price and number, work out is like calculate or the final mm -hmm. price. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, 13. Uh, how did you... Mm. Okay, at the end, you have a clue. Did somebody tell you? So, I well, see. Yes. Find out. Exactly. So notice we use find out about something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Important to remember the position as well. So you find out about something. All right. Uh, let's move on. Oh, we almost finished. Okay. Uh, number fourteen. Tell me. Uh, number 14. Mm -hmm. It took uh, firefighters two hours to uh, p p mm -hmm. run out. Put out there you the are. fire. Put out the fire. Let me show ah, you. Ah, yes. Switch. Yes, yes. Like this, yeah? So you put out a fire, yeah? To extinguish a fire. There you are. Uh, now so, last one for you. I can't find out how the water is getting into the house. No, no. Not, not find out. Ah. Because find out means discover. Here you don't really mean discover, you mean like to understand the function, to understand how something works. Mm -hmm. There are two possibilities. I don't remember. D David, did you remember? <laughs> yes, for me is work out. Work okay. out. Work okay. out. One one possibility. The other possibility? And figure it out. Figure out. Exactly. Figure. So work out, figure out means to understand how something works or to understand why something is like he is, like for example, I don't know. Um, I can't figure out some people in Hello Tom, really. I don't understand why some people are so stupid. <laughs> yeah? yeah? Or, I don't know, I can't figure out um, why um, people are going crazy about the coronavirus, so I don't know. So it's more like a situation, okay? Do you understand the difference? So find out is more like discover, so you want to know the truth. Work out is like to understand why something is like it is, yeah? You, are, you don't understand, yeah? Yeah, is that clear? Yes. Uh, no, this is too easy. We're going to try a difficult one. Uh, why, not? why not? Let's try this one. So, for example, they run out of petrol. Easy, yeah? No more petrol. Petrol is uh, gasoline, yeah? Um, okay, so I don't know if you can see. It's not very clear, the picture. Okay, so there is a man here. Yeah, and he's got uh, leaflets. Yeah. Well, so what is the man doing? Hand, 
give out. Give, give out. Give out. Yeah. Yeah. Hand out is also possible. Hand out or give out. It's the same. Distributing. Distribute, exactly. Hand it out. So the man with the beer is handing out leaflets. Yeah? Mm. Or is giving out leaflets. There you are. Mm -hmm. Good job. Uh, the weather has... Mm. The weather was rainy, but uh, turned out sunny. Okay, the weather has turned out ah, yes. nice, we usually say. Mm. So this is a very common expression, especially in the UK. Have you ever been to the UK? Only once. <laughs> okay, so if you ever go there, the weather is crazy there. So it could be in the morning, very, very cold, and later it's a little bit hot. It keeps changing all the time. It's very changeable. So this is a very common expression in the UK. So the weather has turned out nice. So it means in the morning it was ra raining a lot, and then nice weather, yeah? All right. Sally and Kim are... What? What are they doing? Sally and Kim are working out mm -hmm. at the gym. There you are. Um, five. Joe has run two. out the water. Exactly. He has run out of water. Uh, six. Okay, so she got like a phone, I think. It's not very clear the picture, sorry. <laughs> So like she's got a new iPhone, for example, and she does, and she's got a book with the instruction. So what do you think no, the expression is? Liz is trying, is trying to work out how the phone uh, works. Exactly, <laughs> there you are. So trying, is trying to work out how the phone works. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There you are. You're professional. Good job, keep it up. Uh, okay, let's do this one, and then we'll finish for today. Um, was the fire serious? No, we were able to put it out. Yeah, easy. Eh? Okay, number two, David. This recipe looks interesting. Uh, recipe. Yes. Recipe. A recipe? Oh. Mm -hmm. Do you know recipe? Yes, yes. I, f I forgot that um, the pronunciation was uh, different. Yeah, this is, uh, <laughs> I know, I know, English language. Uh, um, how do you pronounce this one? Uh, no, I, I pronounced it before, recipe. <laughs> okay, so this is a recipe. What about this one? Interesting. No. Interesting. Interesting, okay. So this recipe looks interesting. Uh, <laughs> so... What expression will you use? Uh, yes, let's uh, try out. Let's try it out. Good. Try it out. Let's test it. Let's try it out. Mm -hmm. And also, do you know recipe? Yes. Yeah, recipe. There you are. Mm -hmm. Three uh, for you, Nelson. How much money do I owe? It? Oh, you exactly just a moment i have i'll have to uh, work out okay work the money work, I, I you know. okay so, okay it's it, that expression but you need to use uh something in the middle i have to work it uh, out perfect it. i have to work it out why because i'm talking about the quantity of the money yeah I'm talking about calc I need to calculate it. I have to work it out. Okay, four, David. What happened about your problem with your bank? It's okay now. I went to see them and we... Mm -hmm. So we talk about problem, yeah? Work it, work it out because we figured it out. We understood, no? No, we talk about a problem. Yes. So you, you mean to find a solution to the problem? Yes. Do you remember the expression? To solve a problem or 
no, I don't Nelson. remember. Do you know, Nelson? Sort out. Exactly. So we sorted it out, sorted out. in the past. Oh, yeah. Yeah? We sorted it out. Yeah, we sorted it out. We we have the solution to the problem. No pro no more problem now. Yeah, everything is okay now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, five. No, sir. You have written the wrong date on this form. Oh, so I have. Okay, written, uh, written. You you have written the word the wrong date on this form. Oh, so I have. Thanks for F figure me out. No. <laughs> no. So I'm point. I'm, I'm telling you about something. So, yeah? so look at this. You made a mistake. Yeah. So what do we, what do you call that in English? Pointed out. Pointed exactly. Thanks for now. Pointed. Yes, that's expression. But but look at this. Mm -hmm. You have a preposition. So, no, does anybody know what I mean? Why the preposition is important here? No? Thanks for F pointed it out. No. Pointing it out. You need ing. Yes. Okay. Mm. So, in English, when you have a preposition, and then you have a verb, you always need to use the ing form, like this, yeah? Why? Because you have four, yeah? So remember, preposition, verb, ing. This is a, a golden rule, okay? No exception, mm -hmm. right? Thanks for pointing it out, yeah? Obviously, but, this... Mm -hmm. no, couldn't be also finding it out because he discovered the... Okay, now find out here, you don't really mean discover. You're, what you're saying here, thanks for letting me know about the mistake. Thanks for telling me. Ah, okay. Okay, so I tell you, eh, be careful, you made a mistake here. This is wrong. Yeah, so I tell you, this is not okay. So I'm pointing it out, yeah? It doesn't have to be with the finger, it could be like yeah. You know you know what I mean? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any question? Is everything clear? <laughs> More or less. <laughs> okay, don't worry. So I'm gonna so I'm gonna ask you so let's do a final exercise. Um okay, I have an idea. So I'm gonna ask you with a Latin verb in English, for example. Imagine I ask you, how do you say discover with a phrasal verb? So you have to tell me, find out. Yeah? So I'm going to give you the, like the formal word. So I don't know if you remember, I told you in English, you have like two options many times. You're going to have like the phrasal verb and the Latin word. And what's the difference? In English, this is more common. This is like a very formal. Yeah. This is like written in English. Yeah? We don't really use it in uh, street language. You know what I mean? So I'm going to give you another one. Um, so how do you say this with a phrase of her? Try out. Try out. out. Exactly. Um, how about this? Work out. There you are. Um, how about this? Turn out. Turn out. Turn out. Mm -hmm. yeah. Or you could also say turn out to be, yeah, if you need the verb to be. It could be any other verb, yeah? Turn out. Um, let me think. Um, oh, what about this? Or Toto? Yeah? <laughs> Uh, work out, it's the same. Work out, exactly. Um, Why the total is the work out? Yeah, so if you want to use a phrase of verb, meaning like, for example, imagine you buy these two books, okay? So yes. You want to yeah. know 
Mm -hmm. So you want to know everything, the price of everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you could say, how much do they work out? How much each is everything? Yeah. Yes. Uh, let me get another one. We saw. Uh, okay. Um, more or less, proceed or follow. How do you say that with a phrase of her? Hmm. Uh, carry out. Carry, carry out. out, exactly. It's not exactly the same, but it's more or less similar, yeah? So you carry mm -hmm. out order, you follow orders, yeah, for example. Mm -hmm. um, ah. How about this? Uh, put out. Put out. So you can put out a cigarette, you can put out a fire. Uh, you can also put out a light, yeah? Uh, let me think another one. Mm, okay. How do you say this with a phrase of that? Oh, what? Point out? Exactly. Point uh, something yeah. out. think uh, okay work out figure it out exactly work out or figure out figure yeah by the way the word figure uh, has two meanings in English it could be like the shape or also means number yeah that's why we say figure out, yeah? Uh, I think, uh, mm, hmm. Oh, I'm gonna ask you another one about, not about today's lesson, about last time's lesson. Okay, so give me three different ways of how to use this expression. So how, can you give me three examples of get out with three different meanings? Uh, get out of mm -hmm. is uh, finish something. Okay, give, give, me a, give me a sentence. Make up a sentence. Uh, I got out of money, could do work. No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Doesn't make sense for me neither, but I don't okay. care. Any... <laughs> okay. Let's try with the easy one, the literal meaning. So get out is, yeah, like you are inside, yeah, and then you are out. So, for example, in a taxi, you get out the taxi, yeah. You get out of a taxi. Okay, so this is the basic one, yeah, the, the easiest one. But if you remember, you could also use get out in a metaphorical way. You remember that? No? Okay. Mm. Okay. What do I mean here? So I'm sorry, but I can't get out of doing the dishes. Do I mean like get out of doing the dishes? Is it is that even a place? Mm -hmm. No, right? That's an action. So how can you get out of doing the dishes? What do I mean? An idea? Leave the dishes. Mm -hmm. I'm do not you... able to clean the dishes. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Okay, get out of an obligation or task means to avoid. Understand a void? Ah. Like something, okay, we use this expression for obligations, especially ones that you don't really want to do. So it's something you have to do, but you want to avoid doing it. For example, um, 
Uh, let me see. Yeah, for example, here. I mean, uh, yeah. I'll, for example, I'll make up an excuse like, ah, oh, sorry, can I go to the party? I have a lot. It's a lie, obviously, but you don't want to go, yeah? So you avoid going to the party. Okay, I'm going to give you another why uh, with a different meaning. Um, Okay, what do I mean here? Any idea? I learned. Exactly, it's like I obtain, like I acquire a lot of knowledge, yeah? So get out uh, of something or get out a lot of something means like I had a lot, yeah? I Like I had a lot of benefit, yeah? You understand? Yes. Okay. I think that's everything for today. How do you like it? Was it easy? Difficult? More or less? <laughs> More or less. More or less? <laughs> okay, don't worry. Uh, so I'm going to upload this. Okay. I'm going to stop recording.